welcome back to my channel, The Natural Hair Journey, where my hair is growing and it is thriving. Why do I love my natural hair so much and talk about my hair so much is a question that I got in the DM on Instagram and it is because I am a breast cancer survivor of the year 2010. I never knew the gift that, and excuse the water because my hair is soaking wet because I'm about to shampoo for y'all. And matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and start doing that while I talk to y'all real quick. This is the Bioteam Boost. You already know. Thickening shampoo. I'm going to show you for real how much it takes. See my hand? You see that? See that? You see that? And you see all that starting to happen right there? Yeah. So, my hair is a gift, guys. It's a gift. All different textures and hair types and everything. And I lost all of it. All of my hair was gone. Do you hear me? And I've been on this journey. Since I've been on this journey, I've never fallen in love with my hair. I would let it go natural, put it up in a ponytail, uh, go get a relaxer, take it back down, let it grow a little bit, put it in a ponytail, blah, 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 blah. blah. So, just using a wide two comb. Now, I do this normally in the shower. So, my hair used to be drenched with this. And then I'm going to go in with my brush. My scalp massager. And I go in to stimulate the blood flow in my scalp. Okay? Should I have my spray bottle? What natural don't have a spray bottle? I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. Because... If I would have done this on soaking, soaking wet hair. Okay. Now you see what I'm talking about. And this is the Bioteen Boots, y'all. Thicken and shampoo, baby. I'm going to be doing a wash and go today. And then I'm going to show you how to put your wash and go up. At night so when you get ready in the morning all you have to do is take it down refresh it a little with some water or refresh it a little as I do with my leave-in rice water I just add more to it so you see thriving do you see the lather and my hair still feels soft still feels moisturized it's definitely thickening is definitely getting longer. I'm loving that. I'm going to go in, shampoo this out, put in my Bioteen Boost, put in my Bioteen Boost conditioner, rinse that out, and I'm going to come back in with my homemade DIY Rice water leave-in conditioner, which is really the bomb. Do you hear me? I actually just sold people are noticing. So, I'll be right back. I gotta get in the shower here. I gotta do this, do this the way I can feel it on the inside. But look at that, look at that curl. Oh, Y'all see them curls? Girl, you better appreciate that gift God gave you. That naturalness. That naturalness, oh, Texas Bama, I like my baby hair with baby hair and hat froze. I like my needle on nose with Jackson bottom nostrils. Be right back. Guys, I'm back. I tried to keep it as wet as I could, but I know that I wasn't going to be able to have it as wet as I wanted to. 
See, my hair is so soft. That Balting boost, y'all, I'm telling you. Whew, baby. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is lay my hair in the way that I want my wash and go to go. You already know, you already know I'm low porosity. You already know I use warm water and that I mostly all the time shampoo and condition my hair. And I don't mind about my shirt getting wet because guess what? It's just water. It's just water. And my hair is clean. So this will dry. But I like my hair to be fully, 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 fully saturated. Fully saturated. And this ain't even as wet as I normally would get it. So it would normally be wetter than this. I have to work in smaller sections now. I realize that my hair works better. My wash and goes turn out better. My braid outs turn out better until I actually get the length that I want. Smaller is better. So with my rice water, now I'm just going to do this one piece, but I am going to go in and just put the rice water throughout this whole section instead of doing individual, okay? But I like to get it down on my scalp and work it in. And then I also like to apply it directly to my hair. Now everything in here that I have in my rice water is you can use as a leave-in. Everything, all down, all the way down to the essential oil, you can use it as a leave-in. I don't have a deep conditioner in here, but I do have a leave-in conditioner. I do have oils, so, and the other stuff. I ain't telling everything now. I'm just going to let y'all see. And then y'all going to hit up that cash app and say, Real McCoy, can you send me a box? I will make up a badge just for you. So, all right, guys. Notice the curl definition. So, this is how it's going to look. And then, for this section, I'm going to go ahead, while it's still damp, And it's running down my scalp. And when you get halfway there, just take your hand and massage it into your scalp. And I work it from the roots to the tip, y'all, because it this rice water combination is it's helping everything I did clip my ends recently I clipped them yeah I clipped them but I could tell when I was doing my braid out or when I put my hair up in twists I can tell hey this this end looks raggedy and I would just you know Clip. This is the gel. Then I smooth the rest in and work the rest in by combining it all together. No scrunch, no whiteness. It don't matter how you part it, because it's all going the same way, girl. Unless you're doing something specific now. I do work in quadrants, in sections, when I'm doing some of my hairstyles. But not all. When my hair was shorter, it was hard for me 
to do the braid braid outs and stuff. I just couldn't get that. I couldn't get it. I just could not get the look. Feel my hands. There's nothing on there. You can just feel the flaxseed. You can feel the gel. And there are the curls. Now this section over here is already small. So, hit it up right there. Let it run down. Hit it up in the middle. Work it in. And for the rice water, I don't think you can use too much. This is like my, this is my refresher. This is my everything. This is my leave-in. Even if I do a deep conditioner with Hass, this is my leave-in. Gel. And yeah, it got a little too much. Yep. Yeah. Now remember, my hair is soaking wet. That's how my washing goes take. And they air. So, I'm going to go off camera. Use this big two comb. Section off my hair again. So that I can work in smaller sections. Saturate to your liking. To your liking. Some people don't like soaking wet hair, but you have to do what's best for your hair. Okay, so see y'all in a minute. I have completely applied my leave-in rice water, and I have also applied my Eco Styler, Eco Style Gel, and this is the olive oil shade moisture and black castor oil and flaxseed so I have flaxseed in the gel and flaxseed in the leave-in and flaxseed for me tends to give me hang it, it tends to make my um, hair not dry up into the tight curls so I love flaxseed gel and you can make your own flaxseed gel so, if you guys are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, click the notification bell, select all. You do not want to miss a minute of this journey. This journey is moving fast. And when I say this journey, my hair is going, doing things. And I started this in December, so it'll be a year in December. And my hair has drastically changed drastically so just go back and watch some of the first videos i'm a small youtuber but i think i just found my niche my niche 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 i just think i just i just found my thing i just found my thing my thing my thing go ahead and subscribe let me show y'all the back make sure i'm in yeah Go back, yeah. Got some hang, yeah. Flaxseed gel, love that. And when I get ready to go to bed, I'm going to let it dry a little bit. But I'll take some of these scrunchies, the ones without the metal part on it, because I don't like my hair to be pulled out. And I'll just gently like separate without trying to disturb my curl pattern. And I'll put it up. You know, just, I'm going to do this one for y'all. And this is without disturbing my curl pattern. Okay. 
Some people do the banding method. Some people pull all the hair to the front and do the pineapple. And I don't have enough hair to do all of that. So I created the pineapple trees. Yeah, you see the tree. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, the real McCoy 411. Follow me and I may follow. Okay. All right. God bless you guys. Keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. Oh, she cute in this orange though. <laughs> oh, you got it, girl. You got it. <laughs> yes, I got it. I got it. All right, y'all. See y'all later.